Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So I got a fun little video for you today. I'm going to show you how I made this very simple louver press here so that you can punch out a nice uniform louver just like this in a piece of sheet metal. This is 16th inch aluminum and it works pretty well for this. Um, this is that I've seen by far the simplest way to do this if you want to make one yourself. I just made it with a bottle jack and pieces of steel that I had laying around and you can see I have it mounted right in here to my English wheel frame. So if you have something like this to start off of as like a nice sturdy frame, that'll make it even easier. So enjoy the video.
All right, so I got it set up in here. I just have it clamped in here. It sets up pretty easily, but it does take a while to get it lined up because it's nowhere, it doesn't bolt in, it's just clamped in and you have to adjust it. Um, and it's kind of tedious, but eventually you'll get it so that it lines up pretty nicely. So when you want to punch a louver, I'll get it up pretty close like this. Again, I'll double check it every time just to look at it to uh, make sure that the die seems to be lined up. Then I'll get my piece of aluminum, slide it into here. Then I'll jack it up a little bit just until it's touching there. So now that it's not going to move at all, I'll get a couple pieces of spacers. This is a quarter inch spacer and I'll put these around here. This will keep everything flat once I press it through. Um, if you don't have anything supporting it like this, it'll warp the, um, the actual piece of metal that you're punching. So now that that's set up, I can jack it up. So just shear it through, and now I'll continue down until it flattens out on these two wood pieces. And that'll keep uh, my piece nice and flat. Then I can loosen up the jack here. And I'm not, not quite done yet. The next step is I'll put this back up onto the die here and I'll get a flat piece of steel like this and I'll put it down right underneath that and then I'll jack it up onto there just to flatten out the top edge of that louver to make it nice and flat and square and it'll just look much better you'll see here in a second. Not really putting any pressure on there just enough to flatten it out. Then release tension on there and you can see that that's the kind of comparison there. So this is what it looks like the first time you punch it through. It's just kind of like sheared through there. That might be what you're going for but I personally like this look a lot better. A nice straight line with even radiuses on each side. A nice curvature here whereas this is just kind of like almost flat on, in the middle there. This is nice and even and uniform all the way around. All right, so there's my louver press. As you saw, it works pretty well. You can make this yourself if you have a bottle jack and some pieces of steel like this laying around, and it works pretty well once you get everything lined up. If you had a thousand louvers you wanted to punch for something, probably not the best way to go though, because um, the, you can see this does move a little bit, so if this gets bumped, um, then it's, it's gonna ruin your piece because it's not gonna be lined up at all. So I do have to check the alignment before each and every louver. But if you just have a custom project you're working on, you want to add some nice cooling vents like this or just some louvers for extra aesthetics, um, this is a nice way to go. And it's a fun little project um, for the day as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.